fancier channels can do this with CGI. This is not one of those channels. This is how we assemble a container from Thane's Games. Um, this is the smaller container, but the larger container assembles in the exact same way. So each container is a box within a box. Uh, the inner box is these pieces, and then this is the outer box that goes around them, and then both of them attach to the same base piece. Uh, there's only a little bit of things to watch out for. Um, these sides have a little arrow up in the corner uh, that tells you which way is up for the box. So that's the base, arrow goes up. And then the side panels have a little control panel that should be at a person size height, so those naturally go towards the bottom of the box as well. Um, these pieces are completely generic and they can go on upside down. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get these pieces uh, ready to glue together. I'm going to put a line of glue on this inner area. So this is the inner cuts show where the uh, slots for the inner box will go. Um, and we'll do that on both sides. Alright, and then I'm going to prepare these sides so that they can be glued together uh, easily. So um, I'm going to go right down here. That's where that edge is going to connect. I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'll go ahead and put a little bit on that tab. All right, so um, glue line, glue line, tab, tab. Do the same thing on the other side. Making sure that, you know, there's the up again, the arrow. Um, put a glue line here. Put a glue line here. Okay. Actually, I'll rub the glue off of my thumb because I'm paying attention to all the wrong things. Then also I'm going to uh, put a glue line on the bottom edge of this and on these tabs. Like so. And I'm just throwing them on top of these pieces so it isn't going to drip down onto this uh, uh, black piece. Alright, so that's all together. Time to assemble the inner box, or at least the sides of the inner box. So this one goes on there. This one goes on here. This one goes on here. Last edge goes on the other side. I mean, let's face it, there's not much easier than a box. Okay, so now all those are together and they're supporting each other. And we can go ahead and put the top on them. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue all along these edges. And just so you know, as long as you should be able to tell instantly if you've got the uh, right sides up, the arrows are up, and then these pieces are all sitting flush. So now this goes on top. Bam! There's the inner box done. The outer box. I'll go ahead and put um, a glue line. On each of these little tabs, I'm going to do that first.
And then I'm also going to head and put a glue line on the back of all of these. Now I say the back, uh, I don't have the greatest laser cutter in the world, so it often has just a little bit of angle um, to it. And in general, I put the angle so that the narrower part is the one facing out. You don't have to do that. It probably doesn't make any difference at all. But it just helps uh, keep the look consistent all the way across. So that'll just go on there, just like that. Go ahead and do the other side. And yeah, I like Elmer's. Um, it's easy, it's cheap, um, it seems to interface well with MDF. I've had no problems with anything coming apart afterwards. Um, you can, of course, get tight bond or something else like that. So these are those. We go and put the ends on, same deal, glue line. Slip it on again, they'll go in either direction. And finally the top piece. So you should see that these edges sit pretty flush. Um, that's what you want. Uh, keep it from being any significant gaps. Uh, sometimes there might be a tiny bit of warpage that comes because we are putting a glue down on this um, that's water-based. Uh, so if you want, you can clamp these together or set a heavy book on them. Um, that's it. And then if you have uh, any kind of glue that's squeezing out from the edges, you can wipe that off. It's Elmer's, so it'll come out pretty clear, but you will sometimes see what looks like a weld line on it if uh, the glue has squeezed out too much after you prime it. Okay, that's all there is to that. Again, the large one assembles the exact same way. The pieces are just a little bit longer on the sides and the top.